I'm a physio and I work uh, in public health and I'm also a research associate with CPHE. My PhD is looking to improve participation and quality of life for adults, specifically with complex uh, cerebral palsy, with exercise and physical activity. I love my work and my day is very varied. It involves working on the wards in the hospital as well as in the outpatient clinic and uh, in the community as well. I'm lucky to work part-time so I can spend several days a week uh, focusing at home on my research. And at the moment, I'm quite an exciting uh, stage, uh, about to complete my first article, which is a systematic review. And that's looking to assess what's been done in the adult space uh, with CP uh, in terms of uh, exercise, but particularly in terms of participation and quality of life. I've um, been working as a physio for three years, but I have been interested in this particular area for about maybe five to six years. I was doing volunteer work um, and just by accident started working with, um, with an adult with, with CP and his mum was who was also a physiotherapist. So that sort of uh, achieved two things. I did always want to do a research degree and I was interested to find out what topic I might have might have done. And yeah, I really connected with that because it just what we were doing in the pool was allowing that family to have more travel options. And you know, something that I enjoyed and experienced myself, lots of travel. Yeah, I was really quite lucky that I was able to find a topic that I really was passionate about and loved and also pursue my interest in research. So as I've indicated with the article that I'm focusing on, I'm specifically interested in that adult space. I think when I was doing some early searching, I could see that there just really wasn't a lot there, yeah, you know, compared with some of the more, some of the paediatric research. And as a physio by trade, so I'm really interested in that sort of functional decline and how that relates to someone being able to do the things that they want to. And connected through CP Achieve through the team that's focusing on exercise and improving function and participation, as well as uh, acting as a mentor and assisting with the consumers who were involved with CP Achieve as well. And, helping them understand the research process and also have their voice heard uh, amongst the meetings. I think the CP Achieve team has been fantastic. Uh, my expectation going into doing a PhD was that it was going to be a pretty solitary adventure. Um, lots of sort of pouring over books and articles by myself, where CP Achieve has really connected some real giants in the industry and also other peers um, that I've been able to sort of connect with and share ideas with. So it, it's been more of a community rather than an individual endeavour, which has been fantastic. New ways of thinking about problems has been something I've really enjoyed about uh, the PhD. There's also working um, working with really bright minds of the industry giants, which have um, been great through CP Achieve to be connected together uh, and really is a privilege. Time management and juggling my work and study commitments has, has been probably the biggest, but I'm very lucky to be well supported by both my family and, and my work colleagues and, and management there, which has been really helpful. So I'm hoping my PhD will be a stepping stone into future research work. What I'm finding is that you try to answer one question and then you end up coming up with another five questions as well as the answer. So I'm really passionate about uh, also sharing knowledge. So perhaps a role where I can help teach other clinicians or researchers later down the track, as well as something I'd like to see myself doing in five years. Yeah, so definitely to have my article finished and, and published, that would be a nice, nice start and well underway on my second study, which will be sort of looking at uh, look, doing a qualitative study to get a little bit more of the thoughts and feelings of people towards exercise in that adult space who, who have maybe higher needs. Uh, that's going to be really exciting. Travel, if we can. <laughs> um, and yeah, just spending lots of time with family and friends. research related information um, I'm typically posting on my Twitter handle uh, which will be included in the in the presentation here um, and yeah I'd really encourage anyone who's got any thoughts advice or, or insights in terms of my PhD work to, to feel free to connect with me and if they've got any questions about the PhD process or a research degree themselves I'm always happy to answer questions in that respect as well